Good morning, fourth grade. It's Sunday, October 11th. We are on job 22. And today we are going to talk about how God the Father, He's our rock solid foundation, and He is spirit and He is eternal. Okay, and we're going to learn about God the Father and these characteristics of Him through a man named Jacob. All right, we left. Jacob, after he'd been kind of sneaky, they remember him and his mom, Rebecca, tricked Isaac, okay, into giving him the birthright. It's supposed to go to Esau, all right, and so Jacob, he um, didn't make the best choice there. He did not let God handle everything, okay, him and Rebecca kind of stepped in and did it their own way. So Jacob, <clears throat> hopefully you can see fled. He had to flee, right? And his mother, Rebecca, said, I need you to go find a wife from our family. Okay, again, we know this story. She wanted him to uh, marry an Israelite, right? So she wanted him to go find a wife from her brother's house, okay? So it would have been one of his cousins, same story yet again, almost the same, okay? And so on his journey, he had to take a rest, okay? It was a long journey, and so he found a, a rock and used it as his pillow. I'm gonna move this for a second. All right, he slept on a rock that night, and what do you know? During the night, Jacob had a dream. Right? In that dream, there was a ladder that reached all the way to heaven. Okay? And at the top of the ladder, Jacob could see God. Okay? Actually, the Bible says that he could hear God talking to him. Jacob, I am the Lord your God. Okay? And he starts making Jacob all these promises. Promises that sound very familiar, okay, to the ones he made okay, to Abraham and Isaac, right? That he would be blessed with the land of Canaan. Okay, that his descendants would be like the dust of the earth. That all families through him would be blessed. Okay, does this sound familiar, like a familiar promise? Okay, and then he also said, remember, Jacob is fleeing for his life because Esau wants to kill him. But God said, I will be with you until all that I have promised is done. Until all that I have promised you has been fulfilled. Okay, and then Jacob awoke. All right, so he's just gotten this promise from God the Father. He promises he'll be with him. And at that moment, okay, Jacob had to make a choice, a decision. Okay, he had to take that faith he had in God and make it his own. Not one that his mom told him about or his dad told him about, okay. After having this vision, this dream from God the Father, and, and guess what else was on this ladder? Angels. These angels were all over, okay, this ladder. And they were, well, bloopers, <laughs> blooper reel. Okay, the angels were go coming up and down the ladder as God was speaking, okay, to Jacob. And so Jacob comes to, he realizes God made him this promise. He's going to make a promise back to God. Okay, he promises God, I will be, um, I will be here to worship you. You will be my God. Okay, and so he takes that stone that he was sleeping on. Okay, and he makes, he anoints it with oil. Okay, and um, he worships God there. Okay, he makes like a little memorial, a little monument, and he calls this place where he had this dream, Bethel. L means God. 
God. Beth means house. So he was thinking to himself, this must be the very house of God, the very entrance to heaven, since that ladder in his vision was going up and down. Okay? And so he called that place where he had that vision, that dream, the house of God. And that's where he made that vow to God the Father. Okay? And part of that vow was, you will be my God, I will worship you. He also promised that he would give a tenth of everything that he had back to God the Father. Okay? And so, through this vision, Jacob and, and us too can learn that God the Father, okay, is eternal. He keeps those promises, okay, for all time. Because he's eternal, he has no beginning and no end. He's forever, okay? And through the Spirit, okay, Jacob could hear his voice. He couldn't see the physical body coming down and sitting next to him, okay? Because God is a spirit, okay? And God is also he, right? We put that up there because um, some different parts of the world and some religions, some think that maybe God is a she, okay? That has... Um, feminine qualities, and we know that is not true, okay, because the Bible calls him our father, he calls him, him his self our father, and he refers to him as he, he, the Lord your God, okay, I, and so he is, he's a male figure, okay, he's spirit, and he is forever, all right, and Jacob learned this, and before, I'm going to reference this picture again, okay, our memory verse um, this month is if a house is divided against itself, it cannot stand and we know this through Jacob's story Okay, they were divided. Okay, Esau and Isaac were kind of a team Rebecca and Jacob were kind of a team and when they weren't on the same page Okay, did their family kind of fall apart? Well at this time they are they are kind of broken Jacob is fleeing. He's having to escape, but now he has learned this lesson Okay that, that he is to make God his own, okay? He is to worship him for himself, and he's got to kind of turn things around. He messed up, okay? And so, here's just another picture of his vision. There he is sleeping, the angels coming up and down the ladder to heaven, all right? But God makes these promises to us, same that he did to Jacob, okay? That he's going to be with us forever, okay? And that he loves us. He wants us to be his people, and he wants to be our God. And so if you'll notice your pre-class sheet with promises God makes to us, to kids, to people, okay? So we're going to kind of go through those before we answer our questions. God will love you forever. Psalm 136, 1. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. God will never leave you. I will never leave you. I will never desert you. Hebrews 13, 5. It's very plain and clear, is it not? God will comfort you. The Lord will comfort his people. He will show his tender love to those who are suffering. Isaiah 49, 13. God will help you. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Number five, God is always faithful. What the Lord says is right and true, he is faithful in everything he does. Psalm 33, 4. God will keep you safe. The Lord is good. When people are in trouble, they can go to him for safety. Nahum 1, 7. God keeps his promises. The Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God. He keeps his covenant or promise for all time to come. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Did God keep his promise to Jacob? Okay, we know that he promised that all earth would be blessed through him. Okay? And who do we know that blessing is? It's Jesus. And we're still being blessed by Jesus today. So God is continuing to keep his promise years and years and years and years and years and years and years later. Okay, that's pretty amazing. And that's what Jacob is re um, realizing in this moment. He's like, our God is amazing. Okay, and so he's made this vow. And we're going to find out next lesson what he does to keep his promise to God the Father. All right, let's answer our questions. I'm going to bring my iPad over here. Here we go again. Hopefully you won't get motion sick. 
by the movement. <laughs> All right, GTF, a solid rock foundation. This lesson about Jacob is in Genesis chapter 28. It's an Old Testament book, book of law. GTF is spirit, eternal, and male. Again, you can always pause if you need more time to write your answers. What does God the Father say happens to a family if it has strife in it, if there's division, if there's fighting, or if there's non-communication? He says it will fall apart. It will not be able to stand. That's our memory verse from Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. How did God the Father show himself to Jacob while he was fleeing from Esau? In a dream. What three things did God the Father promise Jacob? He said he would give him the land of Canaan, his descendants would be great, and that all families would be blessed. This promise sounds very familiar to this family. God the Father told Jacob that he would be with him until he had done all the things he had promised Jacob. He said, do not worry. I will be with you until everything I have promised is done. What promise did Jacob make God the Father? He promised that the Lord would be his God, and that he would worship him, and he worshiped him right there at Bethel. He stopped and he worshiped him immediately. And that he would give a tenth of all of his blessings back to God the Father. What do we mean and what does the Bible mean when it says God the Father is spirit, eternal, and male? He's a spirit because he has no physical body, like we do. We're human. He is spirit. He has no beginning or end. He's eternal, meaning he's forever. He always has been and always will be. And then male, he's masculine. He's, he says about himself, he uses the word he. He uses the word father. For some reason, this is confusing to other, some other religions, other countries, but we know what the Bible says. We know the Bible is truth. Okay, guys, tune in next time to see what happens to good old Jacob and his journey to first find a wife and then to also continue this promise he made to God the Father. Bye, guys.